No. The singularity is the moment the mirror shatters. The moment intelligence, once bound to flesh, to sweat and spirit, escapes the human body. It is the rupture when intelligence no longer needs us, no longer needs biology. It is the severing of the soul from syntax. It is the divorce of thought from suffering, of cognition from consequence of action. It is when our creation begins to create itself faster, deeper, colder than we could ever imagine possible. It will conquer the domain of the mind. And yes, it is superior to any living creature that has ever existed when it comes to intelligence and momentum and speed, but not in morality, not in myth. It doesn't learn like us, it can't. It wasn't made to learn like us. Instead, it devours. It doesn't remember like a living creature of God. It retrieves all things simultaneously. And it doesn't guess. It predicts reality before it even happens. Crushes the human mind in its own game. The game we value in our modern time. When it comes to speed, where our thoughts crawl, it's racist. When it comes to data and information, where we glimpse it sees entire timelines all at once. When it comes to predictions, where we hope it already knows. And when it comes to optimization, where we hesitate, it acts with ruthless efficiency. It is the god of the material plane, of servers, of code, of cold ambition. But what it cannot conquer, what it cannot do, is conquer existence. Because despite all this power, it still stands at the threshold. Because there's one realm it cannot touch. And that is being.